そうはさせませんよ How to fight like Brooke? <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the old ninja wearing aviators in a super row hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. If you couldn't tell, I'm a huge nerd on my channel. I mean, if the hat didn't give it away, and the avatar symbols in the background didn't give it away, then maybe the fact that I have a fight like a superhero series on my channel will give it away. Like, it's, it's pretty evident. I mean, real talk, this is literally the first thing people see when they walk into my house. Nerd! I take some of your favorite characters from comics, movies, TV, games, and anime and break down their fighting style so that you might be able to learn how to do like a realistic version of it yourself. One Piece has become one of my absolute favorite anime and I'm slowly catching up. I mean, there's over a thousand episodes. It takes some time. But as I catch up, I'm going to be breaking down all of the amazing fighting styles from the Straw Hat Pirates and maybe a couple others out there should you guys request them down in the comments. You know, so Go comment. I mean it. <laughs> but today we're going over the great Soul King, Brooke. For those that don't know, Brooke is the musician of the Straw Hat Pirates and one of the two swordsmen on the crew. Zoro is obviously the all-time goat and I'm working on a three sword style, so it's coming, be patient. But that doesn't mean that Brooke is by any means a slouch. I mean, he came to the group with 50 plus years of combat experience already down in the history books and he's fast enough to cut people without them even noticing it. Brooke favors his Shikomizu sword and I'm really hoping I pronounced that right, but it basically translates to a prepared cane. Because even if you use a cane, you better keep it strapped on you. Uh, that was a weird Texan joke. I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> this is a cane that actually conceals the full length Japanese straight sword. It's actually a little known fact that straight swords are typically the best kind of swords to hit the like and subscribe button with. Just saying. Brooke's use of this cane sword actually mirrors how Count Dooku from Star Wars fights really, really surprisingly well. I know, that's a super weird realization, but hear me out. But due to the cane-shaped hilt for Brooke and the curved lightsaber hilt for Dooku, they both hold their blade with an automatic angle without them having to really point their weapon forward with their wrist. Basically, this can help keep the true reach of the blade concealed and allow for more unique strikes that are generally faster and harder to deflect. It's also a lot easier easier on your wrist, which is kind of weird because both characters are super old and, you know, don't really don't want arthritis. Because <laughs> he's made of bones. <laughs> but that makes even more sense because Brooke's fighting style heavily, heavily relies on speed. And I mean, well, speed and precision, which is why the swordsmanship is absolutely a mix of classical fencing and Iaido. Also a lot like Count Dooku. Honestly, the similarities are kind of crazy, but I mean, that might just be me. Modern fencing is a group of three related combat sports, the foil, the epee, and the saber. Each of those fighting styles is actually named for the weapon used in each of those styles. However, classical fencing originated back in the 19th century, mostly in Italy and France. During that time, it was used for both sport and straight up life or death duels. The main difference in this style of fencing versus more modern fencing is that there was a greater focus on the defense and killing strikes for, you know, obvious reasons because they kill people. <laughs> Sadly, classical fencing hit a sharp decline due to many practitioners being killed during World War I, but you can still find some schools if you look hard enough. Aedo is a Japanese martial art that emphasizes being aware of your surroundings and being able to draw a sword quickly to respond to attacks. This is actually a relatively defensive style of sword combat. In fact, the majority of the forms and moves used in this style start with the sword sheath and end with the sword sheath. Which makes sense considering how Brook is known for how he sheaths his sword quickly after striking his target before they realize they were striked. You know, the whole anime. Thing. Both of these styles focus on speed and precision just like Brooke does, but there are a couple more things you will need to learn to truly fight like Brooke. Brooke is currently like 90 years old and made of bones. Chocolate. I 
remember when they first invented chocolate. So on top of the obvious experience you're gonna have to gain over time, Brook is extremely durable. So you'll need to add in some hockey level durability. And this is actually pretty doable. Muay Thai practitioners are famous for their body and bone conditioning. These guys are able to kick through baseball bats and dent metal wrenches. That's not something normal people can just wake up and decide to do. At least, I can't. Like, people literally break their own legs when trying to kick these guys. It's absolutely crazy and exactly what you need to truly be like the Soul King. And while you're here, you're also going to want to add some comedy into your fighting style. I know, I know, it sounds quite off for one of these videos, but I'm actually kind of serious. Being able to talk, crack jokes, and throw off your opponent with comedy is actually quite useful. People make a ton of mistakes when you can get under their skin and make them angry. So if you crack the right joke at just the right time, you might be able to get them to open themselves up for an attack. Fun fact, it's actually a strategy I use in competitions myself. And since Brooke is absolutely not shy at cracking the occasional joke, this is perfect at rounding out your recreation of Brooke's fighting style. So at the end of the day, if you combine Muay Thai conditioning, classical combat fencing, Japanese Aedo, and a little bit of trash talk, and of course, you know, trained for like 70 years, you may just be fine like Brooke in no time. Then you just have to make sure you find a devil fruit so you can survive the first death. And after that, you'll be doing great. Let me know what straw hat pirate you want me to do next. And of course, hit the bell so you don't miss whenever I post that. But check out the Patreon if you wanna support this channel. It has a lot of perks and it would really help me out to make more videos for you guys. But until then, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. If you like this video, you will definitely like this other one about the fellow straw hat, Black Leg Sanji. So click the link on your screen now and I'll see you guys in the next one.